Welcome to Taxes. This is the course intro video where I will just touch on basically what you can expect, what some of the course policies are, and generally just hopefully get you started off on the right foot. This is where to find me, um, shell.canon at ccv.edu. Um, I teach lots of courses this semester, and while I generally have a pretty good memory, um, often as I get older, it takes a little longer for the neurons to start firing. So when I see your email, if you put in the subject line that you're emailing me about taxes, that will cause me to clue in a little bit more quickly and uh, be able to respond to you more effectively. Please allow me one business day to respond. I don't generally respond on weekends. Um, I will occasionally monitor email in case there's a broken link in some of the assignments, but for the most part, uh, I don't respond to routine emails on the weekends. I will reach you through your school email. This is what we're required to use. So as much as you may want to use your Gmail or your Hotmail or whatever it is, I have to use your school email address. You are certainly free to forward your school email to uh, your Hotmail or Gmail account if you'd like. Uh, if you're not going to check your school email regularly, in fact, I actually recommend that you do that so that you don't miss any messages that might come through. I will also contact you through Canvas, uh, through the announcements section. Uh, each week we'll begin with an announcement and basically an overview of what's coming up in the week. And so if you don't see one of those from me, you can go in and check the announcements link in the Canvas page and you'll be able to see not only the announcements sent out that week, but all the announcements that have been sent out uh, thus far in the semester. The course format is broken up and I'll jump over to the Canvas shell in a minute and go through what that looks like. Uh, but each week has its own module in Canvas. And within each module, there is an overview page. That overview page is kind of your one-stop shopping for anything that you need to be responsible for for that week. So there's videos, there may be readings um, in addition to the textbook. I may have articles for you to read or websites for you to visit. And uh, there will be links to discussion boards, um, any quizzes, any uh, homework assignments, all of that stuff. Uh, there are other ways that you can get to those things as well. So if you find that there are links for those things other places, it's because I often try and um, create basically links from everywhere so that uh, you will be able to get to what you need to no matter where you are. But if you're looking for that one-stop shopping, that overview page will cover that. Uh, I will record videos of each chapter and those will be posted. Those are designed to supplement, not replace the textbook reading. You will still very much need to read the textbook. Um, there will be chapter questions that go along with the reading and the, um, the course videos. We will have a comprehensive problem um, toward the latter part of the semester. And then there will be discussion board postings. We will have two exams in midterm and a final, and the midterm really does hit about midpoint in the class, and then the final will be the very last week of the term. How you will be graded. The chapter questions and homework, that will be 35% of your grade. The comprehensive problem is 20%. The exams, both of them total, uh, will be 35% of your grade. And there's this thing here called engagement, and that's 10%. And students often say to me, well, what is, what is engagement? And some instructors use attendance or participation. And in an online class, the only way that we can really form a good, cohesive sort of educational community is if everybody really leans into this and becomes active participants, not just responding to discussion posts like, uh, me too, Susie, or Excellent point. Um, I, I'm looking for meaningful participation and involvement. You know, somebody that really is leaning into the content and isn't just here kind of marking time and looking to do the minimal amount just to survive the class. Because you actually won't survive if you're going to um, 
not really lean into it. This is tough material and um, being a passive learner is going to result in lots of frustration. Canvas is basically your one-stop shop for everything. Uh, you will find grades will be posted pretty much in real time uh, with the exception of the engagement grades that are posted at the end of the term. The weekly schedule and assignments again are in the overview page. You'll have uh, announcements each week uh, just generally but there may be announcements that come in the middle of the week if there's something unusual that's going on and in this current environment that we're living in, uh, unusual is really more the norm than anything else. So pay close attention to announcements, even in between the weekly announcements, because you just never know uh, what might get posted. The uh, PowerPoint notes or the slides that will go with the video lectures, I will post those also in the overview page. Some students like to download those and take notes on them or follow along themselves, and that's certainly fine. Uh, for those who like to rely on mobile devices for keeping up with things, Canvas, there is an app for that. Um, so uh, feel free, if you're struggling with downloading that, um, happy to help uh, post to the general discussion board because if you're having trouble, probably so is someone else. And we will hopefully get everybody uh, connected. So I'm often asked, uh, you know, how much time should I be spending on this class? And, you know, it's different for everybody. Some people take to this topic very easily. Some people have had prior work experience in this field. And so some of what we're learning will actually be review for them. For those who have had no exposure to this topic at all, there will be certainly um, probably some heavy weeks in this. But on average, a, a three credit class um, we are supposed to assign two hours a week for every three hours of class time, uh, which equates to a minimum of six hours a week in addition to the class time. So this is an online class. You should expect to spend a minimum of nine hours a week on this material. Homework is due, and this is different from many online classes, so this is a particular point to be aware of. Um, homework is due on Friday nights, and students often say to me, Friday nights, are you kidding me? What do you mean you're going to make me do homework on Friday nights? And the answer is, I am not. So after years of online teaching and having Sunday nights be the homework deadlines, what I discovered is that many of my students would wait until Sunday night to start their homework. And I would get very distressed, panicked emails, panicked discussion board posts, for students who were stuck and waited till the last minute and were just frantic um, because they were stuck. And um, so in order to try and avoid that, I open up every assignment on Saturday morning and you will have the entire week until Friday to finish that. My hope is that you know, if you're working on it on a weekend and you get stuck, then we'll at least have the weekday uh, until Friday to try and get you unstuck and that it won't be a panic at the last minute. Now, things come up and students will often say, I need an extension or I need more time. And it you know, puts me in a difficult position because I don't wanna have to evaluate who has a good reason for an extension and who doesn't. So therefore, you all get one every week. And that extension is for two, two additional days. So from Friday night at midnight to uh, Sunday night at midnight is an additional grace period. Now understand that the next week, you know, assignments will already be open and rolling. So if you take advantage of that extension, you're now, you know, chewing into your next week. But it may be that because of work or family or other obligations that you decide that that's something that you're going to do. There is a 10% penalty for using the grace period. And so, um, you know, don't decide that you're going to use the grace period every week because you're effectively lowering your, uh, your grade by 10% if you do that um, for doing all the same work. So, uh, again, the grace period is there. If you need it, you don't have to ask. Just uh, you're all grownups. Take the time if you need the time. But that there's a hard deadline, 11.59 Sunday night is it. Once the grace period closes, that's, that's the end of that. 
Uh, so I'm going to stop here. I'll come back over to this in a minute. I'm going to go over to the Canvas shell uh, and we'll walk through that. So here we are on the Canvas shell. I'm going to try and move this maybe a little bit over here. Um, I've got this in student view so that you will see what will be available to you when the course goes live. And actually it is live. Um, there is just some additional contact information for me and textbook information here and we'll hop over to the modules. Um, so we've got some general course resource information up here. The general discussion board is here. If you have questions in the class, the first place you want to go is the general discussion board. Um, students will often email me and ask me questions, and chances are if you have a question about something, so do other people. And rather than me getting 10 emails with the very same question, if you post it to the general discussion board, I can answer it one time and then everybody gets the benefit of that. Similarly, if you have a question, you may want to check the dis general discussion board first and just see if somebody else has already posted that question. Now you will see on the general discussion board this little subscribe. And I would ask that you all subscribe to it so that when there are posts made here by either you, me, or your fellow students, that you will get real-time alerts for that information. And then uh, you won't have to remember to go back and look or, or to check periodically. You'll just know when uh, somebody responds. If you can help somebody with something that's posted here, by all means, please feel free to jump in. That will also count toward your engagement points. And uh, but I, I definitely encourage students to work together on these things. Um, unless it's an exam, you are all you are free to work together on any assignments that we have in the course. And so, as I said, everything is broken into modules by week. So here is our week one module. And I put click here and read for the first one. Hopefully, I didn't put that for the rest of them, but just to get you started. So I have no videos here. I'm recording this one now, which I will post here. But we'll have the topic, and I'll have a little blurb about that. You'll have the videos for the week, and then um, you know, basically bullet points for anything that you need to be uh, responsible for for that particular week. So as long as you've gone through here, checked it all off, then you know you're good for the week. And so there are links not only from within the overview page, but also here to the um, any of the homework, uh, discussion boards, things like that. Now, this class comes with a, there's a book as well as an access code. When you get your access code, it, it, wait to activate that until you get into this course. There are, and it's very confusing, um, and every semester I have students who do this, um, if they just immediately go to the Cengage website and they activate it. Um, it actually has to be activated through this Canvas shell, otherwise you will not be connected to the course material here. And then you will end up having to call Cengage and sit on hold and ask them to connect your access code to this class. So, um, and the easiest way to connect your access code is just by clicking on one of the assignments here. And it will load my new window, and it's going to prompt me for a sign in. Now, if you are a new student, uh, it will have you create your student account. It will give you a limited period of free access. So if you don't have your access code yet, that's okay. You get uh, a, the access code also gives you an ebook. So if you need to do the reading before your actual materials have shown up, register for your free account. You can do the reading in the ebook and at least get through the first week's assignment. Um, please make sure that when your access code arrives that you register that right away. If you allow the free trial to expire before you've registered your access code, you will end up having to call Cengage and have them um, register the code for you. You will not be able to get back in. And again, this is something I warn students about every semester, and there's always someone 
who doesn't do that, gets locked out, and then can't submit an assignment when they need to. So don't be that person. And so one of your first assignments here this week is the get to know you. And I'm gonna leave student view because it's not currently unlocked. But here is the get to know you video that will be the first week's discussion board post. And um, the students often say, well, I don't know how to post a video. I, I can't record something. So I'm going to hop back over to the PowerPoint and I've made a, just a little bit of a brief video on that. So um, when you hit reply in the uh, discussion board, it will bring up this window here. If this were a text type response, you would just begin typing here. Um, however, for a video response, there's this little icon here. Um, and so if you click on that, it will bring up these three menu choices. You want to choose upload slash record media. That will then bring up this window here. And rather than, you can certainly record a video on your computer and upload that separately if you choose to. You can record something separately on YouTube and just embed it from uh, this link. But if you want to record it right into the um, little response window, then you would just hit record here and it would open up a window and ask you if you can, if it can use your microphone and your, um, your camera, and then you're off and running. And so I just wanted to hop back over here to Canvas and just highlight a couple of things. Uh, I won't click on the grades here because that will show all of your names and I don't want to do that right now. But if you want to see your grades at any point, clicking on the grade link will bring up your grade book. If you want to see what's coming and I'm still loading assignments in right now. Um, but this will show you basically uh, by date what is coming up. And then um, you've got the breakdown of the courses here. Uh, and I guess the only other thing, and you'll notice that the due dates for the discussion boards are different than the assignments. So your original discussion board is due by Tuesday evening, any responses are due by Friday evening. If I make everything due Friday evening, then there's no one to respond to. Everybody makes their original post at, you know, 11.55 Friday night, and then there's no way to respond to anything. So original posts due by Tuesday and responses due by uh, Friday evening. Um, again, you can find everything here. If you have multiple classes and you uh, just, and I did this out of your view. I just clicked on the calendar here, but the calendar is a really great way to keep track of everything. And you can choose which classes you want to see in the calendar and uh, your assignments will all come up. And so you'll see for this class, it happens to be coded with gray. Um, I don't know why I chose gray, but anyway, I guess it seemed kind of tax like, I don't know. Uh, but it will show you uh, your assignments for this class in a calendar form. And if you want to add other classes to it, you just uh, indicate which classes that you want to see. And you can see all of your assignments in a glance. And so I've probably talked more than long enough. Um, so again, any questions, please post to the general discussion board. And I look forward to getting to know all of you.